Is it working? All right, brother, dude. Yeah. I, I I see I see you're paying your day and your oh, flow weird. with freaking so. channel trades. <laughs> That's the thing. You guys can hear me. Uh shoot, I forgot, man. I am I am like an old person nowadays. Hold on, let me try to change my audio. It's gonna hear myself. Wait, I'm not supposed to hear myself. Tosh, talk. What's up, buddy? Can you hear Tosh? me? Can you hear me? Yo, yo. I can't hear Tosh. Tosh, can oh, you say you something? Oh shit, hold on one sec. Maybe maybe I can do something. Uh, one sec, buddy. Okay. My dog can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm trying to figure out how to view. Let me see. I, I just promoted you to panelists. Maybe that helps. All right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, buddy. Can I can hear, hear Okay. I can't hear Tosh. Tosh. Yo, uh, yo, yo. I think there's a setting where I can listen, right? Where's this shit, man? I am so fucking idiotic. Okay. Select speaker. There we go. Okay. Speaker. Hold on again. Talk, talk, Tosh. Buddy, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. This is what happens when you have two fucking hours of sleep and you can't tell you're, you're drunk or hungover or what, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I trade better when I'm drunk. It's fucking weird, man. I think I'm more focused. I am, I am not, like, tense. Dude, the reason why members literally posted this, or did you post it? Where was the drunk about when he trades, like, top ticking everything? Was that, <laughs> Dude, this is literally you, bro. Seriously, man. Nobody, nobody tell Bao yeah, no, publicly, but he trades better drunk. <laughs> so what's going on? I forgot what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're channel trading. You're paying your day. Let's talk um, about it, brother. Let's talk uh, about it. Okay, what do you want to know? Then we, I guess we can start with questions, man. What kind of questions? What do you want to know, guys? Dude, let's bang it off. Who's, who's got questions for us, guys? Who's got questions? YouTube guys, uh, members, mostly members. Um, anybody want to know anything? You got me, you got Bal. Let's have an open discussion. Um, whatever it is, man, we're here to help. Every single Wednesday, guys, we're here to help. Okay, it's over. No questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, webinar over. Let's go. Oh, man, nap time already, huh? Oh, man, I was I'm getting all these texts. Everyone wants to go party tonight. I'm like, dude, I got to work. What's going on here? <laughs> wow. The, how do you avoid manipulated stocks? You don't avoid them, dude. I don't know. I have no idea when a stock will be manipulated, okay? The only thing I know is I know my lines, and when they break the lines, I either stop out or I stop out. <laughs> yeah, that, dude, dude, just again, channel trading, Xander. It's like, dude, there's, there's, there's a pretty specific channel uh, kind of set up in here and you can play the channel like Bao does every single day. So manipulation or not, you know, when you play the line. Draw the line. line. So, so take, take a look at that. Uh, what, first of all, what stock is this? This is ASTS. So what, why do you call this manipulated? What's manipulated about this? I would just say that you've got a nice range in here. That this is normal, out. man. I, I hate the word manipulation, guys. Dude, I hate, stop using that word. Every stock is manipulated, man. Every stock's a scam. If you think of every stock as manipulated, you're not going to get manipulated, right? So I don't know what is manipulation and what's not. Every stock's manipulated. Yeah, so take a look at that. So why don't we do that? Pull up that chart, Tosh, yep, and draw the it. lines. This this is a straightforward stock. There's no manipulation. I don't understand. The this stock looks like it conforms to the lines because if you draw the line across the peaks, it looks like a solid resistance line right there. It all lines up. Dude, seriously, like like I would venture to say that you could like uh, if you want to keep it kind of conservative, like you could draw it at this top of this kind of line right here, and then I do it at the pre market top because it bounced off this level right here, dude. I mean within this channel. There's money to be made. So like, even if a stock is manipulated or not, who gives a shit? Line a line, man. If the lines work, the lines work, regardless of manipulation. Because some people think it's going to break down. Guys, some, seriously. Yeah, mean, some people it's, think it's going to break up. Some people think it's going to break down. When something sets up a level of range, and again, you can adjust this a little bit accordingly, but when something sets up a level of range, you can play that range like Bao does all day. I'm sure Bao just didn't even see ASTS. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd be yeah, like, I, I didn't see it. If, I, if I see it, I probably would have manipulated the channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, dude. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, embrace the manipulation, literally. 
Is there a set number of times you stop out before you walk away from a stock for the day? No. No. <laughs> if I stop out, I mean, that, that's the plan, right? If you stop out and you put the hard stop in, you cannot be mad. That was your plan. So make a better plan next time. You didn't hit your max daily loss. So why should I stop? If my plan is to do that, then that's my plan. I, I cannot be mad about adhering to my plan. But if I do not stop out, then I should slap myself. Yeah, I, I, while I totally agree with that thinking, I do do it a little differently. If I lose three times in a day, even just little scalps, I kind of pump the brakes on myself, man. I'm a little bit more um, conservative on that. I just feel like it's more of like an off day or maybe bad juju, whatever you want to call it. But if I take three scalps or three hits, I'm, I usually wrap up unless a perfect setup is for me. And I'm like, dude, it's screaming at me to get in. But not everybody's like that. You do not have to be like that. Seriously. It's yeah, just, it's, up to, it's up to you, to be honest. I mean, I trust my system so much where dude, I'm, 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 as, as long as I'm not breaking the rules, as long as I'm not feeling myself revenge trading, yep. and that's the thing. If I'm not revenge trading, why should I leave? If I catch myself getting pissed off and trading stocks, I have no business trading because, you know, uh, you have to ask yourself, would you have made this trade had you not lost? If you came in fresh on the day, would you still be making these trades? Same thing happens. Like, I'm going to give you another example, okay? This is even more dangerous. When you're winning, you're winning too much. Now you become loose. Should you leave? I think you should fucking leave. I think when you're up, you should fucking leave. That's the same thing too. So both sides, you know, it's the same exact thing, right? If I'm, if I'm winning all the time, I'm going to get really loosey-goosey and then think I could do no harm. Or no wrong. Dude, so you, have to, you, have, you have to fucking like, you know, know yourself. Are you revenge trading? So when you lose, you revenge trade. When you win, you get loose. And you enter stocks that you have no business entering just because you have a cushion. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust myself as much as Bao trusts himself. Because, dude, if I take three little scalps, I am scared I'm not going to play the fourth one correctly with a clear mind. I feel like I'm going to revenge. So I kind of cut myself off sometimes. And, again, if there's a perfect scenario, then I'll probably stick with it. But some days, man, I'm just so mentally fatigued after a couple hits. And I'm just like, you know what? Call a broker. Say, cut my buying power for the day. Today's not one of those days for me. Yeah. yeah you know yourself best, guys. I mean, you don't ask me a question that – that only you can answer, right? Yeah, there's no correct answer to that, right, Val? It's like, it's like, it's dude, whatever, no. it's up to you on your personality. For me, you know, I'll just fuck, keep trading until the <laughs> until Alex pulls me off the computer. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, man, that's so funny. Uh, I think we got some more. Let's see. Um, oh, shit. I just fucking, fuck. All right, I'll show you what I did. Fuck. Oh in. no, did you forget you're in some bro? Uh anyways, no, that's fine. So this one kind of squeezed me. So I'll give you an example of stock that kind of fuck that's they I should have held it. That's the thing. I, I actually took the button and oh and, I see. Okay, but anyways, um I'm okay. I made money on the stock, but uh so I'll, I'll explain you what happened to the stock. Okay, so there'll be scenarios where fuck see it tanked. You see that shit? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, dude, that that's a that's a solid tank. Ah. <laughs> uh, I knew it. I'll tell you why I know it. Because history repeats itself. Take a look at the uh, the, the, the 11 o'clock, the 12 o'clock. You said giant ass fucking candle. That's manipulation right there. <laughs> if you want to know about manipulation, take a look at my chart. Dude, that is that is literally a hideous candle for longs. Dude, it's a dollar and 27 cents. What they did was they, they swiped it up, swiped everybody. And then they just fucking drop it. It it looked. I mean, let me post. Let me let me let me show you how crazy this is. Bell, do you want to explain the term swipe? Because a lot of people don't know what that means. That term. Yeah, that's when you go to tw uh, Twitter. I mean Tinder, and then you swipe that. <laughs> 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 okay, so take a look at this. I'm gonna explain this. Look at this. Look at this print, Tosh. One second. Oh, Fifteen seconds, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so That's I got that piece. I was fucking happy. Uh, so what it did was take a look at that chart. Okay, it's time. It's when we say swipe up, 
It means there's an algo that did a market order, taking out all of the stops, taking out all the limit orders, whatever it is, up to its path. So ways, the reason they're able to do this, I'm telling you right now, is because any open order, they can see the open order. So they have algos. Algos are scanning the markets for open orders, okay? And that's why they pay NASDAQ. They're sitting on the fucking server of NASDAQ, and they see all your fucking orders. This is, this is that book. What's that? Flash Boys. Take a, read that book called Flash Boys. Okay, uh, let me take a look on Amazon. If you want fun reading, go read that book. That this became yeah, that that for us. Oh yeah, we pull it over here. The Flash Boys. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a trading term, does it? <laughs> <laughs> no a, comment. No a, comment. This is a Michael Lewis. There he goes. Fuck and they it. take over, guys. The algo takes over for a second, and it's a swipe. Like it's it's quick too. Uh, let's see what we got. This is this is good reading, man. There you go. Yeah, this is good reading, guys. Now you guys have homework. So it talks about high frequency trading and how the the firms are cheating us. So what they do is they this is I cannot believe this is legal. Okay, the reason it's legal because they exchange this Nasdaq, New York Exchange. They are private companies, guys. You guys did not know that, right? They are privately owned companies. They are not fucking public. They should be fucking. They should be fucking like. The government base, right? So as a private institution, what they do is they sell space on their server. So there's a fiscal server at the NASDAQ farm that's, that does all the quotations, right? And so the theory is this. If you are as close as you can to that server, the fiber optic cable, you are nanoseconds quicker than the guy sitting at my desk. So New York has NASDAQ. I am here in California. I, I get it literally like a few nanoseconds later or milliseconds later right as no long seconds. as this trade <laughs> so yep yeah, as long as this long with this speech i'm doing <laughs> um but so what they did was this they want to co-locate their algos they're on the server so they're getting a millisecond peak faster than my order so what it's fucking illegal as fuck man so what they did was they you know it's all about the length of the fiber optic cable and all that crap right but there is a distance and that's a millisecond for the human eye we can never detect it but for a computer they're doing fucking a thousand operations per millisecond right you know gigaflop gigaflops right that's like millions of operations per um seconds right so what they do is this dude so i have an open order and they see all my open orders. And so they're probably doing out calculations to see if they can fucking make money on the, on the long or the short side of it. And so they just swipe everybody, they, they match the trades up. But the, 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 the key is you can never fucking know what this is gonna happen. All I did was I used my process of channel trading. I know where the resistance are. It's all, all in there. I just got lucky. And so when people say, how do, you, how do you capture this? I don't, I just got fucking lucky. But if you do enough times the correct way to trade, you will get lucky. You know what they say about luck, right? <laughs> it's a funny thing. The more I practice, the luckier I get. So keep practicing, guys. Read that book, and you're gonna be more lucky. I mean, Bro, that's it's, it, 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 when people ask us about, like, dude, how'd you get so lucky to catch a cat? It's like, dude, we're just shorting into previous resistance. Like, we're not magicians. What the fuck? Like, I just uh, fucking had, I had my fucking orders out there to the fucking line and fucking hit me and it fucking thing down. It's like, dude. yeah, stop thinking this is magic, dude. It's like, look, just draw your lines, draw the mountain ranges, draw resistance. Like, I want to scream at people how simple this can be. People think that if you top tick this, you're a magician. Hey, don't, don't uh, let him think that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him, let him think that. That'd be good for you. Know? <laughs> uh, that's what happened. To, so, guys, that's what happened back in the day. Right? I, didn't, I didn't show people how to do this shit. I'm just thinking, man, these guys are, everyone's trying to, like, oh, you're using calculus, advanced fucking theory. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? All I did was draw a fucking straight line across. <laughs> so I was like, calculus? I barely pass algebra. <laughs> like, level one, dude. <laughs> So, I mean, so when I finally show people what I was doing, people were like, you stupid, you suck. And so people stop following me. It's a weird shit. They, they, you know, before that, they're like, oh my God, Val is some sort of great ass mathematician, right? He has some sort of fucking, oh, like, uh, dude, I just drew a line. <laughs> but, you know, it's the, app, uh, but the thing is, is the application guys of the lines is the process that is, that puts everything together. You know, a line is just a tool. Right, resistance support is just a tool, just like just like a VWAP, 
just like whatever else volume indicators it's just all a tool how do you use it to make money that's the secret sauce and that's what that's what MIC does it takes you know it, it takes up all the tools and it wraps it up in a simplified process and the process includes what guys includes um, your strategies as well as your risk management and that's the thing that I think in my in my opinion that other People don't have, people don't t teach fucking risk management. Seriously, people are blowing up left and right on Twitter. And then I'm like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Put a fucking max daily loss in. They refuse to do it. Oh God, dude. Yeah, don't even get a start on some of those guys, man. It's like every single day they repeat the same shit. Yeah, man. So it's kind of like, I'm so sick of this shit. I try to help people, but people just want to, people need to help themselves. So I, 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 I'm, now I'm convinced. I'm, I'm literally convinced to my fucking core, dude, that some people are so obsessed with the nature of gambling and the adrenaline that comes with it that bro, they know you're right. And they don't give a shit. Like, like, I think, dude, I, I swear hey, that some, they, people are, ego. some people are, some people are so I, 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 good. I, 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 I have this saying, man, I'd rather be rich than be right. Some yeah, people would rather yeah. be fucking right and broke. <laughs> you can be right and broke all you want. I'd rather be, well, uh, most, of, most of the time. I will, I will right donate now. my ego to, to the highest bidder. Who wants to buy my ego? I'll, I'll sell my ego right now for 25 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was ego can be bought. <laughs> One channel trade and it's bought. Yeah, well, she's like, hey, do you want to buy me? I'm cheap too, so. Dude, that's so funny, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, Flash Boys is also available as an Amazon audiobook for all you guys maybe stuck in commutes or traffic every single day. So that's good to know. Uh, let's see. Any more questions? Um, can you guys go over my CUEN -E trade using support from pre-market to find a play, uh, to find a line to play with, uh, set up dip and rip, stop loss 649? Um, okay, so let's try to decide. Where, where, where is that question? Is it on YouTube? Uh, right here. The, no, no, that's the twins. Um trying to decipher this so they so they longed can you go over his trade i don't even know what he did <laughs> uh, yeah the I, arrows the arrows are it, it looks like this is the long and this is the, this is where he got out so well, he went long and he made money so what's the problem <laughs> <laughs> i think that's that's right here right he went long on the left and he sold on the right i have a three minute good. chart so it's going to look different but it looks pretty good to me bro <laughs> yeah <laughs> That that looks like a fucking awesome trade. That's and the way we're gonna do because around seven. there is where I am shorting. Use the seven line. Hold so, half dollar. So C U E N, C U E N. That's where I'm shorting, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, dude. Literally, where he's. Well, let me show you. Let me show you my my C U N chart um, again, so you can see it. Uh, then you compare it to his. The key is along, guys, is what Bao is explaining right now, is you want to be exiting on the, on the sell side where Bao is shorting and vice versa on the cover, maybe long uh, dipping or, and or buying. That, that's what he's trying to explain right now. Ah, Here it is. So, so Bao's literally shorting where the twin sold his position, the opposite. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the point. Oh, a sell is a sell. It buys and buys. This is how it happens. I sold before I bought. And that's a short bingo. So the lines are the lines, guys. When it's a resistance, you sell. Oh shit! Okay? Oh, don't don't look. Don't look. I know, Blin. Blin. <laughs> don't look, bro. Don't look. Yeah. Oh man, about <laughs> you to print you to six twenty four, dude. Did you hold ten percent or anything? Yeah, I just took it all. Oh man, because that's I took forty so cents. I figured forty cents is good. The the problem with stuff like Blin is it's down so much. And the, the thing is, this stock historically is a squeezer. It, it's a teleportation stock. Which it did today. Look, I mean, dude, look, in the morning, man. In the morning, rip people the new butthole, man. Yeah, because cause think about it. You're going along, and you like this dip in VWAP, and you're hitting the VWAP bounce short. But damn, dude, like this is known to be a squeezer stock. And this, we're this stock has been supported at 580 line for, since 1 o'clock, two hours. And guys, I, I, again, to plug main chat here, but if you go back in the morning and scroll all the way up, we talk about how this is a trap um, a ticker, known for being a trap ticker before it did this. So yeah, let, me, let me show you. So these are the things that we, I mean, history repeats itself, guys. 
I, I traded this stock before. I love this stock. I love one because I love these rangy stocks that go up and down, up and down. Each one of those 40 cent candles is making me money. Nice, nice money each and every time. Think about this. Two of those is 80 cents. The stock's only five bucks. <laughs> I do it four <laughs> times. That's a dollar and sixty, you know? Yeah, seriously. So here, so Blinn, so so what this is the advantage, guys. You gotta in the morning take a look at my feed. Uh look at the time. Look at the time. This is well before it even moved, guys. Uh, when you hear that, I should have just went along. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I mean, shit. The, the, good th the only thing is like, you know, you can warn and warn, uh, avoiding stuff, you know. Um, the next step is I, I, you know, you go along. But this stock is just, dude, th this thing was $4.60. It went to $8.60. Who can survive shit like that, right? Dude, seriously. So you, you just, you can't just add to this blindly, man, because this is, this could be the one where it just keeps going. You know, obviously it came back down, but that doesn't always happen. It just goes to 12 and you're still adding from $8. You're done. That's why risk management is so important. I would, I would the, this stock, what I do is I go very small size so that I can have a dollar range, right. 50 cents to a dollar range. I would not stop out because VWAP is way up there. Well, especially when you know it's, it's historically a big range mover. You know you're not going to be right risking 10 cents or the odds of being right are much slimmer. And all I did one bullet, guys. I'm so scared of this stock reclaiming that I only do one bullet. Dude, 100%. But the thing is that one bullet's going to make me 40 cents. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see. Popping again. Any more questions? Let's see. Let's see. I think I might have glossed over a couple. Yesterday when you switched long on MRIN bow, what was your thesis? Consolidation above VWAP longs in control, tightening range. And then you post the chart on, uh, okay, so Emrin yesterday when it blew up shorts. Uh, who is this, YouTube or? Uh, this, is a, this is a member, Garrett, uh, Garrett asked this. So it's right. basically, basically what was okay. your thesis let me, let me, long? Let me pull up that thing again, again so, all right. Yep, I, I mean, I can already comment without you commenting, but holy shit, you know. Yeah. So here's the chart. Oh, okay. you're you're posting a chart. Nice. Uh, I got a couple of charts. So I'll just just post some to see which ones. Um, Here we go. So Bow was shorting yesterday, obviously at the 13 line, which actually would have been a good line to short. It's just dude, this started ripping faces off. Dude, he stops out very quickly and then he goes long. This is the beauty of process. When you know you're wrong based on not using a bias, just knowing how charts move, dude, you stop out on freaking teleport candles like this and you go long. That's the difference. Oh, That's so the thing, thing, so the thing is, M I R N killed a lot of people the day before. It killed a lot of people the day before that. Right here. Uh, so this stock when it fucking rips, it rips people's faces off. And so I talked about this yesterday in detail on my Instagram live. So take a look at my Instagram live from yesterday. I, I, I talked about this for half an hour. Yep. Um, the mentality of this is, dude, when this thing rips, it goes from way under VWAP to way over VWAP. And it's a known killer of shorts. You, you fucking get the fuck out. I, 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 so what, what I did was, you know what, man, I'd rather take a manageable loss any day than to fucking hold and have it balloon on me. So I, I, I was in 10,000 shares, believe it or not, 10,000 fucking shares. Look at that candle. Up. Holy shit. Right. It was like a fucking dollar. Well, well, about how many, how many times have we talked about this guy? Look at the three major identifiers. Day one of the move, theoretically day one is super super strong so now by the time we get to anything on day two we're actually on a multi-day runner number two dude it broke pre uh, the, the 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 yesterday's highs whether it was after hours whether it was intraday it's breaking these highs it's over vwap all day and then dude you know how i feel about death candles you do not short things that are dead i'm sorry i'm sorry teleport candles it is the opposite of a death candle this had every single reason for here to switch your bias long. It's over VWAP. It's a multi-day runner. It's breaking yesterday's high. Dude, you don't short this. And if you do, you stop out immediately. This stock? Immediately. Look, take a look at what VWAP was. Uh, okay. this, v, this stock was over VWAP all day 
fucking it was all over VWAP, right? Yep, yep, yep. And so I mean, when it teleports, it's already up VWAP. You're fucking dead. <laughs> It yeah, that, like, that, yeah, that's just the, the candle. That's like the cherry on top for screwing shorts. Is like, dude, literally almost at not one point, but the immediate morning, this thing was under VWAP. This thing is just a pure trend mover, man, multi-day runner. Above VWAP. When, when, you're, like deviation. when you're under VWAP and it does that, you know, it, it, could be, it could be a dead cat bounce. Who knows, right? But when you're over VWAP, you got to get the fuck out because who the fuck is underwater? Only shorts are underwater. Correct. So that's that. I mean, I, dude, I, I could have commented on that alone. Like I, I knew what Val was thinking, dude. He tried to stab at the 13 because it did put in this top. And then, dude, once he realized that, holy shit, this is probably not done with a teleport candle, it's time to go long because this thing is just not done. Pull back and see the forest for the trees. Look so at take the a look at my latest chart on that, man. Look, look how beautiful these first bounce can on entries were. Oh, the, you're talking about this one, Val? Uh, the, the the latest one, posted. yeah, the second one, right? Yep, yep. So take a look at all of those. So oh, notice let me, where, let me notice zoom in. Where, so draw the line, man. The lines fucking work. This is how I'm doing the first bounce, guys. One sec. So guys, after this, after this uh, t kind of teleport, right? Yep, it teleported. You have so this. Is, yep, you have this little consolidation point, right? You have this little like trickle up after that big ass candle. So. What you can do is usually draw a line right here because it sets up this little form. It sets up this kind of base that it keeps touching off as you notice. And then dude, bounce literally just longing off that as a, as a first bounce. Like this is the whole point. Like dude, every it's time just, it got there, look at that man. Each oh, time it got brilliant. there, I, I, I fucking added and then surely enough, it ripped up like fucking four points. <laughs> Three, yeah, four it, points. It, 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 it's freaking brilliant. And the, my chart's going to look a little different, guys. Just remember that because, um, uh, because this is a, a three-minute chart. So j just, just remember, it looks a little different than this because that's a one-minute versus three. But it's the same point okay. right here. So make that out of the habit, man. The, I, I talk about this. I'm going to recap real quick in the Instagram Live. Um, when, when you're young, when you're a brand-new trader, your first instinct is to add to a loser when shit like this happens. Um, and then you get more experience and then you don't add, you just kind of freeze. <laughs> right. Um, and then where you want to be is you want to get the fuck out. <laughs> so my, my instinct was I'm fucked. I gotta get the fuck out. So what I did was, um, I got the fuck out <laughs> as soon as I can. And then boom, surely enough, it fucking spiked up another buck. <laughs> That's the key. That's the key. It's just 10,000 shares is a fucking, that's, I say myself another 10,000 bucks, man. Dude, knowing when to push and knowing when not to push is what it means to be a professional trader. That's what it means. Like you, you've got a good handle on when not to fight and when to go in hard and when to lay off. And this is just something where shorts, you just admit, not admit defeat because you shouldn't be losing on this too much. You just admit that your edge is not really present and you, it's not push time. It's longer and you, 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 you know, there's nothing wrong, bad to be wrong, guys. I'm fucking wrong all the time. There's no when to fucking, you know, get out when you're wrong. Um, it, I was right until it broke high a day. The moment it teleported, it broke high a day. And like, I'm getting the fuck out. Val, uh, question. Uh, can you keep analyzing MRIN for today? Should we be expecting a low-hanging fruit tomorrow? Well, the low-hanging fruit was for today, guys, because if we zoom in, this is today, right? After it puts in this massive, you know, uh, three-day chart, Tosh, and you can, you know, you can yep. And I'm, yep, and I'm also going to, um, I'll put on the style, I'll put on pivot points real quick. So as you guys can see, so this is a three-day chart, and these are the pivot points on for today. Now, did you want to comment on the three-day chart specifically? I'll let you do it. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I mean, here's the thing, guys. This is something that uh, Tosh, Tosh is an expert on. Tosh was actually the first person I taught low hanging fruit to. So. <laughs> Dude, isn't that crazy? It's like, it's like we, we've all got our lessons from Bao, and, like, he specifically taught me either – a low hanging fruit is literally one of two things, right? It's one of two things. It's a day two specifically – which is usually 99% of the time a low hanging fruit or the day after it really got slaughtered from highs. And while this ended really strong, if you look at the next day, dude, literally, literally, like, let me zoom in this. It's opening so far from highs, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Let me draw it for you. Look at how much range from highs 
lungs are actually underwater. So what you do is these colored lines are what's called pivot points. So when you put pivot points on your charts, they're going to tell you the best scenario, to, or I'm sorry, the best area or the best general perspective, you know, perspective area to short and to get some starters in. And I don't short anything under these lines. So because it didn't pop to this, obviously I wasn't on it today, but if it does pop to the lines, that's what we call line by line. So you could start shorting into the 15, obviously the whole and a half dollar mark, if it got there, this is the low hanging fruit day, a continuation of this downtrend from the previous day or day one, because it's usually a day two play. Obviously this is day three, but it's still the same kind of uh, psychology behind what we're talking about with quote unquote, a low hanging fruit. So if there, if I'll just draw one, if there was another pivot point right here, let's just say there was just over 18. There's not, but let's just say there is. If you short here at 15 and it does rip through, because these are so far, you cut for a loss and you re-attack at these levels. So you don't just add from fucking 15 to 18 because now you're really asking to get destroyed. This is what's line by line. If it doesn't work at this line, they're very far apart. I will attack the next one, but here's the thing. If the next major line is 540, you can scale both of them because it's a much safer bet having two ceilings. Does that make sense? So again, that was the biggest thing I learned from Bao in the beginning, uh, especially of our friendship of like, he was always like, dude, why, why are all these idiots on Twitter shortened day ones and low, low, like all these low float day ones. And look, dude, this is why a lot of those guys that you laugh at every single day, cause they post the same stupid loss, the same, this is what we're trying to educate them on. They keep trying to fight strength, the day one mover, the hot chick, the thing with strength, where if they just focused on day twos and or low hanging fruit, Brother, these guys would prosper, but guess what? They're probably too lazy to watch even these free webinars, let alone join MIC, and they're going to keep making the same goddamn mistake every single day, dude. We just gave a million-dollar lesson right there for free, literally. This is what made um, – now, I, 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 I'm, I actually, I'm not 100% accurate on this, but – the, the, your first mentor before Alex, the guy that um, went in real estate and basically just retired from trading, dude, he mastered this shit, right? Like that was his bread and butter right there, right? The, um, actually, no, looking fruit. Yes, actually, yes, you're right. Uh, that's one of our strategies. We, we did gapping, uh, but then we, we shorted. So we, Back then, it was we were actually we were both long and short. It was crazy. Oh, could, could, well, because that was specifically, guys. For those who don't know, see, Alex never, me and Alex never played the OTC days. We're talking about twenty years ago. Bow's first like protege back when he was doing OTCs, man. The come up with like Fannie Mae and shit like that, dude. But it was it was a different ball game back then. But it's the same psychological. It's the same psychology, dude. It like never changes. That's the crazy thing. Yep. Like, like people ask me all the time, Hey Tosh, you know, I, I love MIC and I love what you guys are teaching, but are these plays going to disappear? And I'm like, dude, that's literally the last thing on earth that you should be focusing on because no, when human, awesome. <laughs> when no, human this, psychology this, disappears, this, this has transcended multiple markets, right? From, so the concept of a continuation short, we call that the low hanging fruit. Right. Which I, call it, I, I call it the low hanging fruit because fuck, it's so fucking easy. Not to it. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, fuck. Whenever I'm struggling, I go back to the low hanging fruit. That is my bread and butter. Guys, this is actually kind of an inside joke between me, Bell, and Alex. But we, obviously, we talk in you know like a little um, our, our our you know three person chat in the mornings. We prep for the day. If Bao is ever feeling any kind of shakiness because maybe he took a loss the day before, maybe Emren, you know, got him or like drunk. he got yesterday. Dude, we literally tell him, don't fucking play a day one. You, you win 99.999% of the time on your low hanging day twos. Do not play a day one. Just play your low hanging fruit. <laughs> when, when I'm traveling and I have one laptop, I only trade low hanging fruits. Yep. When, when I'm on the airplane, I trade low hanging fruits. When I am fucking on my cell phone. <laughs> but seriously, dude, if you, you had to pick one short strategy to master the low hanging fruit, that strategy is a call. I call that, but it's an accumulation short. It's a, it's a trend. Basically, you're following the trend down. It peaked, and now it's backside down. And the very next day is usually the day that, that gets the best movement. Um, you, you, I don't do the third day, the next, next day, the, because 
um, it, it may have consolidated already. So that's the fear. The best low hanging fruit is the direct, the second, the very next day at, after the breakdown. If a stock is still going up, it's not a low hanging fruit, guys. A low hanging fruit is a stock that is a continuation breakdown. This is the whole point. That's the point of the term. When he first told me the term four years ago, I was like, wait, now I don't understand a continuation short. Like, what do you mean? And he was like, dude, it's a continuation of the price action down. It's already bleeding, bleeding, bleeding from the previous day highs or whatever it was the previous day. Obviously it's usually a day two. This is in fact a day three example, but the psychology remains. It's opening so far from highs, wherever the high was the previous day, that longs are underwater. So you now have a, like a, a part of the chart or a part of the trend that got smoked and is just bleeding out where think about if you were along. If you were along and you and say you longed anywhere upwards of 1350 to 14 the previous day, you'd be shitting your fucking pants right here come the open bell the next day. So what do you think happens on relief pops to these pivot points or ceilings, aka resistance lines, aka very, very much points of scale on the short side? You're ideally and should, quote unquote should, because nothing's for certain, you should get a continuation down. That's the point. And there's Holy your million dollars. C U E N. Ah, C U E N. Look at that. Oh no. Oh, what's going on? What time is it? Oh, it's 3 30. Wait, they're gonna cancel all the orders, dude. Dude, um, that is ridiculous. Oh my god. When's I will last- give you a secret. I will see you a secret why why that happened. Dude, when's the last this? time we oh, saw it? this late day something do that? So what happened is this, guys. The reason it's doing this is because uh, there are no shorts. You cannot locate this fucking stock. There are no shorts, just short squeeze. This has been a long bull trap all day long. Every time it spikes down, it, it spikes up, it just goes down. This is the trap which belongs all day long. There are no shorts stuck on this. And that's why you, when there's no short stuck, you cannot have a sustained squeeze. You may squeeze it because they're doing market orders up like that, but it can never be sustained. Because who the fuck is bidding? In order to have a sustained squeeze, you need to have bidders. And the natural bidders on a stock are the shorts, not the longs. The longs are the natural sellers. Because when I'm buying a stock, I'm looking to sell all the time. I'm fighting to get the fuck out. I'm not fighting to add more. Whereas the reverse is true with the short, right? Yep. So like, like guys, let's keep it super simple. No shorts, you have an easier chance of fades. It's not always going to fade. There's never an if so facto guarantee. But when you have a ton of locates, this is what we call easy to borrow versus hard to borrow or just something that's so freaking hard to borrow. It's much harder to die. You get bounces, you get supports, you get rips, you get new high day breaks. Like you just get a ton of people who get squeezed because like Val said, if you have no one to squeeze, we don't get those massive moves. There's just usually not enough buyers to create those massive, massive, massive squeeze moves. Those are, those are shorts saying, boy, do I regret my decision? Bingo to the moon, right? Cause they get squeezed. So when they cover, it becomes a buy on top of the people that are literally just organically buying AKA squeeze. Everybody is forced out of their short position, or at least the people who are still are exiting, and then that creates almost like a double demand. Want to take um, YouTube questions, Tosh? Are there YouTube questions? Or yeah, yeah. Let me let me pull that up one sec. Um, sorry, guys, if we miss anybody on YouTube, uh, th- there's so many questions to get to, guys. That we can't always get to all of them. Um, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Holy shit, Blin. Oh Jesus, oh, hey, man, look at Blin. Hey, Gustavo, wow. who was a, who was a member before, said, "What's up, Tosh? Killed it on Wish today. Glad I graduated from MIC University. Awesome, dude. Bro, you gotta come back. Hey, come <laughs> back, bro. There's no, there's no graduation. I'm still taking classes. I, I was just gonna say, dude. There's no graduation for me. It's like I, I need to see this every day so I instill good habits. If you ever run into trouble, I might. I if you if you can afford it." Guys, there's no reason to fucking leave NIC once you're once you become self sufficient. That's the dumbest thing in the world. You you basically are losing what made you successful. You know what, man? Trading on loans sucks. If, I mean, if you are truly profitable, what is the fuck is two hundred bucks, right? Seriously, dude, that's that's less than my locate fees on one yeah. position. <laughs> yes, there is. Um, let's see, let's see. Any questions? Uh, the, the, the focus of the room, also, guys, is not just fucking trading and teaching people trade it's 
it's the tab atmosphere. When you're in an environment with people helping you and stuff, you, you're more focused than when you're sitting alone in, in a tiny office by yourself. T, uh, TJ Mard, hi, Bautosh. Um, who is the person I need to talk to about opening an account with Cobra? Just DM me, man. I'll help you get in touch. Uh, just DM or um, text so me. all the guys out there, guys, uh, mention MIC to get the discount. You have to mention yep. MIC, okay? Yep. So, um, hey, I love Bautosh and Alex. Make sure hey. uh, <laughs> you get the discount. <laughs> And if you guys have any questions, man, obviously you can text my business line, which I'll just, again, I'll just always keep up. Uh, hold on, uh, is 213-458-5997. So if you do have questions about not finding out immediately, just text my line. Um, let's see, I don't think there's too, there's not too many questions on YouTube. So let's continue with the members if you guys have any. There's a Ray, wait, Ray asked a question. You see that, Ray? Uh, I, I missed that, hold on one sec. Did I? When do you think person Ray size up? Oh, sorry. I didn't, I, I did miss that. Um, uh, my greens are bigger than my red. Yeah. And you know, when to size up, man, you, you, you are the only one that knows when to size up. I cannot give you metrics. If you are consistent, if you feel you are consistent, start sizing up slowly. I, uh, you know, doesn't matter. Add another hundred shares now and then to see your comfortable size. Don't just randomly add double the size. It's a, it's an exponential in terms of risk management. If you double your position, you have to have a bigger bank roll and now you'd be losing double what you usually do per trade i would suggest 100 shares at a time 500, 500 shares at a time things like that but if you already are like so i would say start adding 500 shares at a time 100 shares or you know things like that and you only know yourself there's nothing just start doing it man seriously if you feel like you're ready just add another 100 shares and remember sizing is going to be different for stock for setup you know, your A plus setups, you know, you can size more. On these marginal setups, you can not size that much. Uh, but some say size only go in on your A plus setups. I, I don't, if I just wait for my A plus setups, I might be waiting forever. So I have these other marginal, uh, but there's still A setups to me. There's A minus setups, there's A and A plus, right? I don't like to touch the Cs. If I'm really bored, I do the B and that's how I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just size yourself man set those hard stops yeah i do like what, what you're gonna notice is this guys one 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 caveat on sizing uh the bigger your size you're gonna be shitting bricks on movements your stop is going to be tighter so you have to be aware of that if you want your stops to be the same you must have a big enough bankroll and not be fucking scared with that additional size. That's yep. when you know you're ready. You know you're ready when your stops are the same, whether or not you have 2,500 shares or 500 shares. <laughs> and what that means, guys, is you're trading the exact same way as if you had one share or upwards of whatever you added. If you find yourself getting out 10 cents early, your size too big because you're not accounting for, holy shit, I'm down much bigger red numbers first than I ever was. That's the whole point, man. Exactly. This is so why think, we recommend going slowly on size when you're consistent and then silently like a thief in the night, just more and then more and more, but in a, in a steady trajectory of consistency to where you almost don't even notice it. With any time, any time over the last seven years, I doubled size overnight or at least put in an extra 30% versus like 10 or 20%, I lost every fucking time. You know why, dude? Because I just, when you double your size or triple your size, like, okay, today I use a thousand, tomorrow I'll use 3,000. You're fucking dead, dude. You're dead. <laughs> That's because your stop went from a 30 cent stop <laughs> to a fucking cents. two cent stop. <laughs> but the problem is though, and we can't leave this out, you're still trading it in your mind. You need that 30 cents of wiggle room, but now you're only giving yourself 10 that, cents. That is, that's exactly what it is, man. I figured out now. This is the answer I'm going to start giving them. It's you should size when you know you're, you're ready to size up. Big when, go, your, big when your stops do not change. <laughs> yeah, dude, when your stops don't, that's the best thing we've ever said on sizing up in probably three and a half years. That's true, man. That's, that's exactly what it is, man. When, when I know myself, man, that's, that's why I size down so I can have this wiggle room. When I start sizing up, I'm like, holy fuck, my stops all of a sudden got a little tighter. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, because like, think about the psychology of it, guys. You're trying to trade. Okay, think about, let's, let's break it down really quick. I'm going to upsize because I'm consistent using these levels, these lines, this range. Okay, let's triple my size. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I can't give myself 30 years. Now you're not trading the same. 
Yep. You're gonna take the fucking L. You're not yep. treating the same lines. So I suggest this. A lot of people love to size up. I challenge you guys are inconsistent to size the fuck down. Size down, widen your stop. You're gonna go, holy shit, I am now a consistent trader. Bro, I told James three years ago when he wanted to, when James was using literally 500 shares max, and he was telling me over the phone as, as, as a, you know, like an entry level tab partner three years ago, he was like, dude, I want to one day use 50,000 shares. And I go, you want to know the secret, bro? <laughs> You'll never need to or want to once you get consistent. Now he uses like maximum of 3,000 3, shares. And dude, he makes a fat living trading, bro. I won't give you his numbers because I'm going to leave that for him. But dude, let me tell you, he makes way more than his actual professional career trading. So 3,000 shares is actually still a lot of size, man. Dude, seriously. Like, people Wait, let me show you this account. So you remember I always talk, so this is, this is one account, okay? Let me show you. You know what I, I told you if I'm going to do that, I'm going to show you my fucking accounts every time. So this is that small account. So each time, so I've taken this account down already since then. So remember, I always take money out. Yep. So here. So this one account only, take a look at this, because I told you guys I'll do this. Nice, nice, nice. I'll bet this was like 30,000 like yesterday. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you trade right, guys. These scalps add up quick, man. You know, with this 30 something thousand dollar account, I made like four grand, right, guys? I'm ready to, I am almost one more of these days, I'm gonna wire out. One more days like today, I'm gonna wire out again. Whatever, I hit like 47,000 or some shit like that. I take out like 15 grand. Dude, seriously. So man. my last wire was fifteen thousand. So I've been taking money out, you know. So that's the thing, man. A couple, a few of these days, is, that's all you need. And you think about how I made four thousand on this account, man. Four, two hundred dollars scalps, five hundred dollars scalps. I got lucky. I made a thousand dollars in one scalp. You know, stuff like that, man. It adds up very fucking fast. Now this is just one account. I trade bigger on the other account too. So I'm up, I'm up a lot more than the other account. Well, because, you know, Bell, I think there's a thing about it. And believe me, dude, we're all guilty of this. I was guilty of it seven years ago. Is you go into trading, dude, thinking it's going to be a lottery ticket. You, oh my God, I know information. Nobody knows. I'm going to catch that one stock or I'm going to catch that one day, that one dry trade. Dude, it's not about that. It's every single day just being in front of the screens. And whether you only have an hour to give in the morning or you do channel trading all day like Bow, know that, dude, those base hits are going to, like, you can do it every, dude, five days a week for the next hundred years. I, that's I do this. Good. This account is like a fucking, it's meant to be an educational account. I was thinking one day, maybe just to fucking have this public, um, just so people can see that, you know. I mean, this is it, man. You'd be surprised. People laughing at $4,000 a day, but fuck. If you, if you can't make $4,000 a day, it's a million bucks a year, guys. Isn't that crazy? And like, dude, the, the average salary in, in like the US is like 60, like not even $60,000. So you guys have to understand how far this goes when you're like, dude, I make one K a day. Holy shit, that's quarter of a million dollars. When I broke it down to these levels, I respect $200 now. Think about this, man. People, people take, people, what's $200? If you can make $200 every day trading, that's, 50 G's, bro. <laughs> That's a, imagine you're celebrating your income at 50,000 trading an hour a day. Okay, you have to, you, you have to, you have to, like, again, you have to pull back for the forest for the trees, guys. Any day I have like a $400 day, I'm like, man, it's only 400 bucks. Then I pull back and I go, but dude, if I do this every single day, 100K for the year, like, that's sick, dude. That's sick. That's good money in the real world. This is what most people underestimate or don't understand. Average US salary. Thank you for looking that up. 48,000. Dude, yep. The, the, the key is those, man. I'm, I'm here. My goal is not to have giant ass losses. That's why you know the risk management, max daily loss, things like that is very important. You never want to give back more than a few days of work, guys. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> We've hurts, man. So that's why. That's why that that when that I lose experience. <laughs> so that's you know. So I can you know this is something that you can do, man. I mean, fuck. I show this every day, guys. You know, people, people don't know. This is a very small account relatively, right? But when, if you're doing this, I mean, dude, you just, in a month, you can you know, double your, your account. Bow, Bow you, know how, you know how we knew that this was really an important tweet? Because this started off as a tweet. Is, dude, I've been on random crypto channels just looking for funny memes, and I've seen them post this. There's, like, I have seen this posted, this exact wording. They copy and pasted Bow's words on like 200 different like accounts, dude. That's how you know it's powerful. <laughs>
Seriously, it's, uh, yeah. You know, of course you're not going to make 400 bucks a day. Sometimes you lose, but the point is this is the average, right, guys? Yeah, that's the whole average. point. Some days I make more, some days I make less. <laughs> no, I don't know if you... Look for a $30,000 account in this shit. <laughs> dude, I, I don't know if you remember, bro, but like literally, dude, I'm not kidding you, like five years ago, Bell, before we were even friends, man, just like a random guy on Twitter, I remember you arguing with a dude because like this like big trader at the time was like, that's ridiculous. Well, you're not accounting for losses. And then you're like, listen, dumb fuck. I am. The whole point is to see the median like number. Not like, he's like, what happens if you lose $2,000, man? What, what are your numbers? Then you're like, dude, I can't deal with it. You cannot win. You cannot win every day, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's then not. I, then I show one. Every then day. I show one giant ass hundred thousand dollar fee. okay, okay. Pay the average out. <laughs> it's like idiot, dude. It's not. It's not being right every single day. It's the median. Obviously, there's days where you're gonna make twelve hundred, and then there's days where you're gonna make one fucking dollar. You do a median win. Like, ugh. But just, it keeps in perspective, guys. Um, that's how you reach your goals. You reach your goals by not trying to make a million dollars in one day. You reach your goal by saying, okay, what if I take four years or five years? Okay, let's say I take four years to do it. Now I just need to make $1,000 a day. <laughs> $1,000 a day seems more achievable, right? Than making fucking ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 at a time to try to make a million dollars. Yeah, seriously. Dude, seriously, man. Think about, think about how much psychology we went over today, let alone price action. Like, there's so much to this if you actually commit to it. If you don't commit to it, you're just going to let your mind run rampant with all these random ideas. I'm telling you guys, man. Dude, $1,000 a day is very doable. You start off by making $200 a day consistently. Then you level up. Dude, the, co the compound effect, man. And also, I, I've been paying attention to Eric's growth. Dude, Eric is just doing amazing, man. And look at this. He said, oh, he said, growth progress not possible without MIC. Dude, look what he's been doing. Holy shit. Damn, like, bro. <laughs> like, look bro, at the, look he, at the, just, dude, he, he is He's the poster child for that fucking uh, that calorie show. <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude. Holy he's a, uh, dude, this is an uptrending chart, man. He's like, he, this, this kid's uh, a breakout, man. A clean shit. breakout, dude. When did you join, when did you join MIC, Eric? Eric, when did you join, buddy? I'm curious. This is a fucking dream, guys. He's like, I joined in April. <laughs> okay, so January. What did, what did charts look like this before January, bro? Did you have some like real bit big reds down, like, or was you were you just kind of treading Dude, water this, for a while? This is phenomenal growth, man. This is freaking amazing. So let's so bring bring uh, Eric. You got a fucking microphone, brother. We can bring you on, man, if you have some time. You will. So why don't you tell everybody what it took to get going like this? Because it's very important. Um, like joining MIC, what did you do? Did you watch videos? Which videos? What did you do? Paper trade? You know, uh, give us a quick timeline of what you did. Because that's going to help a lot of people. Yeah, bro. Uh, here, hold on. Let me, let me add you. Are you just under Eric? One sec. Let me bring you on. We got, dude, we totally got a little bit of time left. Um, let's see. One sec, Eric. Uh, how do you add them on? Are you're just under your name, correct, buddy? It connects uh, to Zoom. E yeah, Zoom yes. To Slack. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them on just like I did with you, Bow. Exactly the same. How'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'll do it right now. I'm I'm just going under the participants. I'm just trying to find his exact name. Ah. Uh, so he so has it, on his it should be spelled out exactly right here. Let me just add this guy. Eric, you oh, should. Oh, you've been using the watch list slack, slack user. Hey, guys. Yo, hey, what's Eric. up, buddy? Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, hey, it's, all, it's surreal. Huh? Tell everybody where you, you're from and all that good stuff, man. This, this is cool. Yeah, so, give, give us some stuff, man. Oh, my God. Oh, well, so I'm Eric. I'm from Orlando, Florida. Is this recording, Taj? This is recording. This is going to yep, be great. Yep, man. yep. This is all recording for people to oh see. Oh, my God. This is – yeah, it's unreal. Um, Yeah, like I <clears> – <throat> I keep on messaging Bao, you know, progress. Um, my favorite vid videos have been Trading Fish and, of course, uh, Tom Diesel's uh, story. I mean, I love Tom. I mean, I love all of you. How, how can I say? <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, where are you from? You're from Orlando? What's your background, man? Uh, I work in IT. I've been working um, in IT for 15 years. I'm a network engineer. Um but yeah, due to COVID, I've been 
fully remote. So COVID plenty in a way did help me. <laughs> uh, plenty of time to trade, Eric. Plenty oh, of time yeah, to yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the, the first time actually that I could really focus with uh, screen time and uh, trading. But yeah, I, I've been trading for uh, about five years. And, you know, I did have a couple of winning streaks. But yeah, I, same old story. I I just give it all back, you know, and more. So yeah, I've been in this cycle of winning and losing. And I, I never had this kind of consistency. <clears throat> what what did you do? So tell us the process when you joined so that other people can follow your steps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in January, I just focused on studying, watch your videos, what uh, did you go to see. Did you, study? Did you, did you have the accelerator? Did you watch that? Yeah, like what was the what was the exact process that really brought you to consistency, man? It's just you know paying attention to main chat, paying attention to, I mean, your favorite traders, right? Like, yeah, my favorite trader is Bao. And you just look at his charts. You just study them, really. It's it's you study like you're studying for a test. You, you take it seriously. <laughs> I mean, are you are you long trader, short trader? I've I used to be long uh, at the start, but then when I started shorting, that's when I found some consistency. But yeah, for the month of June, it's about ninety nine percent shorts. Um, oh, I'm I'm working on my long game because I really missed out on MRIN yesterday, so. Tell us how what what how did you avoid blowing up on MRN? A lot of these guys cannot stop themselves. Well, well, I I do have a set of rules that I must follow. Like uh, you, you can only add three times, and just set your hard hard stop. So, you know. I love it. I love these rules. You, you just follow your rules. If you don't follow your rules then yeah, you deserve to lose, <laughs> oh, basically. Sure. You have, do you use a max daily loss? Do you have it in there? Yeah, I, I got a $2,000 max daily loss. Okay, cool. You using uh, Cobra? What's that? You use Cobra? I, I'm with Trade Zero. Oh, okay. So you have a max 2,000, so that's good. You, you see guys, he, this, so Eric became yeah. successful because he has the discipline to follow the rules. <laughs> it's just like a holy shit that's a magic secret <laughs> yeah i mean that's basically it man uh you know i i still got a long way to go it's extremely early you know um so yeah, let me ask just, you this though so yeah. your max lead loss is 2000 which is 20 percent of what you make a month right i mean that too i'd high? like to i'd like to give myself the best chance really to for a trade to work out okay yeah my 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 my, um, my winning uh percentage is pretty high i think it's like 85 percent but yeah my my losers are bigger than my winners I, i'm working on it you know i'm i'm really sizing down and trying to get that habit going correct so this is good you know you know what man you, this has just been six months this is good this is an awesome work in progress, though. I got to get my hands up, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey. You know what, man? I, I, I like the fact – so, Eric, listen, guys. Eric had the discipline falls rules. Eric uses hard stops. Uh, so, let's find the commonalities between every successful trader. They have a max lady loss. They use stops. They follow the rules. Yeah. Um, Xander said, what setups do you trade? Well, I love line-to-line -line short, you know. Uh, when a top is set, I'd like to use outer lines. Um, That's the key, man. <laughs> outer lines, buddy. It's so simple, bro. Wait for a top, short outer lines, put in a hard stop. It's like, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's really that simple. God, <laughs> isn't it, dude? Like... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I still, I still deal with FOMO. Um, you know, I'm human. So <laughs> sometimes if a line doesn't hit, yeah, I, I, I get in, but, you know, 
you got to keep in mind as long as you have pre-planned trades and as long as you follow your pre-planned trades, you know, you're going to get results. Holy crap. See, I love this, man. Eric <laughs> is using all the terminology we're talking about. pre plan your <laughs> trades. pre plan your trades. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, back in March, I had uh, a couple of green days, but I've been breaking, uh, I've been breaking my rules, right, when I'm doing my trade review. So uh, I really worked it out like uh, in April. I focused on, you know, pre-planning your trades, stopping out properly, and, you know, just building the good habits, really. Okay. It's, it's not about, I love yeah, process. exactly, yeah. process. It's not about, you know, a holy grail setup or that's the thing people don't understand, man. I mean, <laughs> uh, so you know the strategies work. So that's that you when you join MIC, you already got the you already got one leg up, big leg up. I know what strategies is important. It's now it's just you forming your own process around those strategies. And part exactly. of the process, part of the process includes risk management. And that's the that's the key that all these guys on Twitter that's blowing up do not have. They do not have risk management. So I love the fact that you are covered heart stops, max value loss, uh, things like that. Yeah, I mean, hey man, uh, it wouldn't be possible, you know. I mean, I don't want to be like a, <laughs> an ass kicker, uh, ass kisser. <laughs> but, ass kicker. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You're kicking ass, bro. That's good, man. You're more, yeah, you're more I, kicking ass. Than no, just... <laughs> I, I owe my success to all you guys. Well, I mean, dude, Midtown, that's uh, shout out to Midtown. I love, I love what he you know, shares with the room. The, the, the thing that's so cool to hear about all this, Eric, is like, dude, literally everything you just said is exactly what we preach, dude. To the point where trolls are probably gonna be like, oh my God, he's a paid actor. Dude, it's like, <laughs> you're a perfect example, bro, of like, like, dude, we've never got you on a mic. We, we, we had no idea what you'd say today. And you say all the things that we uh, teach, dude. It's like, that's how simple trading can be. And then these are the results that, people get it man it's like we have thousands of testimonials like this because members get it and eric gets it and and like eric dude what was the, the my one question for you bro is like before joining mic like what was the normal like week for you like you just make money and give it right back like you said like were you did you have really drawdown periods where you're banging your head against the wall oh like, yeah you're spreading so, water like there were like, so many times i you know it's like why do i even bother you know i just like why do I just torture myself? <laughs> well, that's how a lot I, I've of lost. Feel. Yeah. 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 I mean, you absolutely like, what the hell am I doing? You know, it's just, so, you know, just that's, that's the hardest challenge for me now. It's just, yeah, sometimes some of my bad habits creep back in, but you know, during your daily review, um, you just got to be honest with yourself. I'll be honest with your tab. Like, hey, so you have a tab, and each night you guys do a daily review? Uh, not each night. Um, we just, yeah, share our charts and, you know. So who's your to, tab? Let's give a shout out to your tab, too. Uh, you know what? Yeah, three of my tabs are just uh, AWOL right now. Yeah, I got uh, I got T Dog and Tim. Yeah, shout out to those guys. Uh, Kevin, I don't know. Kevin, I think he's uh from Daytona. Um, yeah, he's been AWOL for a bit, but I think he has some house projects going on. So, hey, Kevin, uh, if you hear this, I miss you, man. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, the tab group is great because you share each other's success and you help one another. I mean, that's the thing. When when all three of you guys agree on a play, usually it's good. Yeah, it's it's really basically, you know, you just constantly need to work. Um, yeah, market's just insane. It could easily catch anyone, you know. That's why um, you have the max lead loss and you have the yeah. hard stops, guys. Yep. Uh, and you're in Orlando. I'm going to give a shout out to Cla Claudio. He's doing a meetup over in Orlando, guys. Let's post that again. Hello, oh, hello. Right here, right here, right here. Saturday, July 10th, 5 p.m. Right here, man. Um, the the little the little the little font's too small to read, Claudio. <laughs> my my old man eyes on the, the bottom left. Oh man. 
Yeah, I, I'd love to do the meetup, but um, I already booked uh, a trip with my family <laughs> before that meetup was scheduled. So <laughs> I need a magnifying glass. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> right there, guys. Saturday, June 10th, 5 p.m. Yeah, that's, oh that would have been awesome. I uh, would have loved yeah, thanks, to thanks, meet thanks you guys. Thanks, Claudio, for uh, leading the effort there, guys. Claudio's the man. Seems like every every place is fucking uh, closed except for Florida. <laughs> I was really <laughs> forced to wear a mask again, bro, like last night. I mean, what the fuck? Dude, Eric, we're so pleased at your success, man. And again, bro, the whole point of MIC, man, and to kind of leave it on the note of, you know, man, just it's all about passing the elevator back down, isn't it? To the guy that goes, dude, I'm having a lot of trouble and I don't understand. Can I get some help? That's Seriously, what it's all man, about, I, man. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been getting a lot of uh, DMs, and yeah, I welcome them all. Uh, I'll help everyone in any way I can. So, you know, That's the power of the community, man. Seriously. And, and you guys remember, guys, the, I we created MIC not just for trading. This is like a everyday country club, right, guys? Every man's country club. So socialize. Um, Eric's in IT. If another person's in IT, you guys can you know talk about that or. You, you know, it's like in looking for jobs through one another, you know, use this as a networking, guys, not awesome, just yeah. trading. So I, I meant, I, 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 where else can you meet traders and become their friends that share the same passion as you? So yeah, this, seriously. this is the point yeah. of MIC, not just trying to copy people's trades and stuff like that. You, you know, if you want to meet real new friends, this, this community is fucking amazing. Everywhere you go in the world, you say, hey, I'm in this town. Who's here? I'm pretty sure someone from MIC is there. I'm always constantly surprised how like awesome the people in MIC are. And I mean like, not like I'm surprised, like, oh, I can't believe like I thought that they were. Dude, I mean like members send other mem members monitors who are just starting out. Like people, people are best men at other people's weddings. Like, dude, don't underestimate the power of the community in the tab program, dude, seriously. And yeah, and Joe, I Thank you, Joe Angelo. Uh, uh, he sent me a bottle of great whisk uh, cognac. But I, he sent it to the wrong hotel. But I still think about this today. I'm like, dude, this is so fucking amazing, man. Yeah, but we have people that really like care for each other. I'm, I'm just blown away and touched. Yeah, dude, seriously. Every single day. So, you know, Eric, thanks for coming on, man. You're a perfect example of why we created MIC. And brother, just, I, I love it, dude. And keep, keep, keep doing what you're doing. Keep fighting the good fight to anybody who's still having trouble. And dude, ask for help, man. Seriously, don't be shy. Ask for help. You could be the next Eric. Seriously. Thank you. I mean, uh, thank you for, you know, letting me speak here. And, you know, it's a true honor. Uh, you know, I, I love you, Val. Love you, Tosh. <laughs> oh, thanks, bro. Thanks, man. <laughs> dude, I, I'm so happy for you, man. Six months, guys. Think about this. It seems people, I mean, this, this, he just started. You imagine now for the rest of his life, if he keeps on this track, I mean, this is this is game changer, life changing, man. You know, and now he's going to be passing the torch over to the next set of generation, his kids, other members. You know, this this is the whole point. You know, yeah, the reach at MIC is truly limitless, and it's not because of me, about us. It's because of every single one of you who continues that legacy to the next. I mean, that's what it's about, man. So. Dude, Thanks, what, a, Eric. what an awesome webinar. Hey, thanks thanks for coming on, Eric. Seriously, man. Thank you for raising your hand, buddy. Yeah, thanks for posting this, man. You guys should not be uh, shy. Seriously, post post your success. Post if you're needing help. You know, other members would love to help you out. We would love to help you out too, guys. Just don't be shy. Bro, we, bro, we, would, we would have never known Eric was doing so good if he didn't post and, and be vocal <laughs> about it. Like, this is a – like, don't be shy, guys. We want to see our hard work, like – in you guys prosper like like don't be shy we want to see your result that is so inspiring for other members man that you know s dude since this year he just just an uptrender bro just an uptrender of a of a career and the success is only going to continue so and, and remember how he did it guys yeah do the same thing we preach process absolutely this hard stop risk management risk management risk management follows his rules I mean, I, I, if you bring your rules, I don't know how else to tell you, right? <laughs> yeah. There's only so much we can do, man. We don't trade for you. We, you still got to follow your own rules. So I'll leave you guys with this, man. 
Um, it, it, we're going to help you guys. I'll, I'll get you in the club, man. It, I'll answer any questions if you need to schedule. Oh, one more question. Uh, do you use uh, uh, the watch list? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's what made me have an awesome winning streak. Watch list. All right, there you go, guys. <laughs> where, I, don't know, I don't know how else we do it, man. I mean, uh, not... Alex, shout out to Alex. Where, where, where would any of us be without Alex's watch list every oh single God. morning? Even, even, uh, even Tom's a uh, watch list. It's it's beautiful. It's yep. gotta learn, you know. Yep. So yeah, I mean, eventually I'd like to make my own watch list, but you know, I'm just yeah, just slowly learning and just grinding it in. Think there. about this guys. I mean dude, I'll like Tosh said, we can't be there pushing the buttons for you. We give you a freaking watch list. We give you everything what you do. <laughs> I, you just need a place to trade in. <laughs> Dude, dude, ironically, ironically, we're the only community that doesn't give alerts, yet these are better than any alert service that anyone's ever done. Like, that's the funniest part, dude. It doesn't even, like... Yeah, I mean, that's why I, I told Bao, I think it was yesterday, you know, thank you for teaching me how, how to fish. It's, it's one of the best feeling ever. You know? Bro, we teach you how to think for yourself, man. That's what we do for a living. That, that's a hard part, guys. Uh, the learning curve, to be honest, the first month is steep because you're learning. You have to, you're forced to learn. You imagine like if you, if you cheat and just copy people's homework, you're not going to learn anything. So trust in the educational process, right? You, 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 you're forced to learn. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> yeah. That's why, that's why some people are, you know, sometimes not in love with that because they're like, oh man, I got to work to make money. Fuck that. I'll just go work for my <laughs> employer instead of a job I hate. Oh yeah, because that makes sense. Like, hey, look, look at Chris. Look at Chris Alpine. Oh yeah, congrats, Chris. A small account making four hundred fifty-seven bucks. Dude, awesome, it's, awesome. Yeah. So keep fighting the good fight, guys. I'm telling you, you got a whole community behind you. Uh, this was a community created by people who really genuinely give a shit, man, about other people. And, uh, dude, we're here for you. So, again, we have every resource. We can't push the buttons for you. But short of that, we have every resource possible to help you on your journey. Become the next Eric. Eric's probably going to become the next Alex eventually. And just like JJ practically did. And this is the power of the community, the process of what we do, man. So if you have any questions... 213-458-5997. Maybe text, maybe text secret code Eric to my line and I'll hook you up with a nice discount. <laughs> <laughs> if All you right, watch guys. this webinar, thanks for showing up. All right, have a good day, guys. You're awesome. Awesome. See All you, right. buddy. Val, I know you're about to go get some foe, dude, and I won't get in the way of that. Yep. I'll see you guys. A great fucking day, guys. I love <laughs> see you, bro. I'll see you guys. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys. See you, man. Loving off.